Hello, Stampin' Friends. Happy Monday. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I'm so glad you guys decide to kick off your week with me and a little bit of Stampin' Fun. I love on Monday mornings when I get messages from my friends and they're like, are you doing a movie today? Yes. Sometimes it takes a little longer for me to upload and sometimes I have little tech difficulties, but I try to have a mon um, movie for you guys every single Monday. So we're going to do a little stamping today with uh, one of my favorite sets. Sets, life is beautiful and I avoided this set for a very long time because I had had tree sets before and I was like oh it's fun it's it's a nice stamp set but when I got it and I've started playing with it I'm like oh why did I wait so long um, and that's because I love sometimes when we go to the simplicity of just a stamp set so this set works well to keep things very simple uh, very stamps ink and paper there's no punching there's no dies there's nothing that cords really you don't even need to do any fussy cutting so I love the fact that I can pull this out simply stamp and make some gorgeous cards this is a million dollar stamp set I'm not sure who the demo was but in our Stampin' Up! world when you have hit your sales of one million dollars in your career you get to, to design your own stamp set and so that's pretty cool and some of these demonstrators create amazing stamp sets so we're gonna play with life is beautiful but let me give you um, a real quick little uh, housekeeping to let you know that right now we are in October and the entire month of October we have got a designer series paper sale so we have a bunch of our gorgeous papers on sale for 15% off this is not something we normally do we normally do a buy three get one free but this time we're giving you 15% off of everything and so we're gonna use one of the packs of paper here that is included and that is another favorite of mine called plaid tidings it's a little six by six pack this is not the full pack because i have been through four packs of this already in all of the playing that i've been doing and look i'm hoarding it i have another pack here I have another pack here and I actually have two packs that are on its way so yes guys I am a part of your club if you belong to the paper hoarders anonymous I am part of your club as well I love this paper so it's got all kinds of cool designs and I love the fact that it's not quite all Christmas it's just various plaids in different colors and you can use it for Halloween you can use it for Valentine's Day so I'm going to play with this a little bit here and show you some cool things using plaid tidings, which is 15% off. So instead of it being 1150, it is now 978. And uh, what else do we have? Another favorite pack of mine, Forever Greenery. I love that one. That is on sale. Point Set a Place is on sale. That's a great one for the holidays. Another favorite of mine is the Whale. I love the Snowflake Splendor. I am infatuated with Magic in This Night, the Christmas or um, Halloween designer paper. Heartwarming Hugs, I have seven packs of that. And that's actually one of the um, things we're gonna use in my upcoming retreat. So I just ordered a bunch of it. And then of course, my Playful Pets, which I absolutely love. So how many times have I said love? I love designer series paper. I am I am a huge paper hoarder and I also love my ribbon. So anyway, on sale now through the end of October, and you can always shop, we'll just throw this out real quick while we're talking about uh, on sale, is that you can go to my website, my online store 24 seven, and you can shop contract, contact free. You can put your order in, it will direct ship right to you. You don't have to worry about leaving your house. UPS will bring it and put it right on your door for you. And this will be the code that you use. So at checkout, there's a place that you can put a host code in and that links it to my party that I have going on. So as I mentioned we're gonna play with life is beautiful right so let's stop talking and let's get stampin so I'm gonna do uh, a version of a card I had made a little bit earlier so I'm gonna pull in my um, oh my gosh I just lost your name what is your name Cin cinnamon cider yes I wanted to say um, apple cinnamon and that's not right. This is cinnamon cider, one of our new in colors. And I have, it's eight and a half by, <clears throat> by five and a half. So when I cut my paper in half, I get two card bases. 
And then I've got a piece of very vanilla, which is four by five and a quarter. And then I'm gonna use this piece right here uh, from the plaid tidings, which I'm gonna guess is, I did it four by I think one and a half. So I wanna kinda lay this here. I'm not gonna glue it down just yet, but I wanna lay it there just so I know how much space I have to do my tree. Now I'm gonna pull in a piece of scrap paper because I don't wanna stamp on my lovely table. Now this tree is big, so you will need to have your biggest block. Uh, this is one I don't use very often, but I had to, I had to <coughs> excuse me, I had to pull this one out in order to fit my tree on there. So that is block, do you have an, I forget what you are, block F, so the biggest block, and it is filthy. I don't know if you can see. Goodness, how dirty my blocks are. They're gonna need to get a bath. Do you guys ever just bathe your blocks, get out? I use rubbing alcohol and I just go and I clean everything and they get so nice and shiny. So now I'm gonna use my soft suede and because this stamp is so big, I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm just gonna put my ink to my stamp. And I'm using soft suede because it's a little bit darker. So it's gonna give me some contrast because I'm gonna use cinnamon cider for my um, sentiment. So I'm gonna move that off because I don't wanna stamp over top of it. And I wanna bring it down just enough that I have room to still stamp my leaves on there. So this is gonna be a perfect card for fall or what I sometimes call gratitude season, right? It's time to start being thankful for what we have. And now I've got my cinnamon cider and I'm gonna do my thinking of you. So that's gonna go just down here in this corner. And oh, oh my goodness, where are those wipes at? Where are my baby wipes? I just had an uh-oh. So now, what color am I wanting? I'm gonna use Bumblebee, another in color that coordinates well with Cinnamon Cider, and I've got my leaves. So I'm gonna ink them up full strength and stamp them two times. And it looks like my ink pad needs a little bit of juice. It went through a big Christmas stamp a stack class. Now, I wasn't thinking I would have just stamped again. So let's stamp off and just add another lighter. There we go. Some nice, nice leaves in there using bumblebee. So I'm going to need to juice you up a little bit. So now I've got my stamp and seal. It looks like it might be starting to run out, so we'll see if I have enough. So let's go ahead and attach this to the edge of my card. And I'm gonna totally cover up my vanilla. Then I've got some of our coordinating cinnamon cider. And now that I'm, I'm rethinking that, do I want that to be, that would be kind of cool if I did that with bumblebee ribbon, wouldn't it? That's all right, I have cinnamon cider here, but I'm just thinking uh, that would be very, very cool, I think, to bring that pop of color using um, using this, the uh, bumblebee ribbon. <clears throat> but that's all right. Work with what you got in front of you. So I'm just gonna tack that around right where that seam is of my designer paper. And then we can attach this whole thing to my card base. I always like to put a little adhesive over those ribbon ends so they don't come off on me and give me a fit. There we go. And then I'll just take a little snippet here and I'm just gonna tie myself a little knot. You could do a bow if you want, but knots are easier, a little bit more postal friendly. They don't create quite as much of a bump in your, in your card. Now, for the last step, I've got some of my in-color gems. 
our enamel dots. And I'm gonna grab out my picker tool. And put a couple of these. So we'll do bumblebee for sure to pull in a couple more of these, uh, a pop of that yellow, right? And I'm just gonna put one right here. And I might just kind of stick them in amongst my tree. Let's put one more in there. So I'm kind of sticking it and sliding it a little bit to get it off of there. We'll go up here. So there we go. Just a little, a little bling, little pop of color. So there's really, really a very quick and simple fall, fall card. sure how many did I put on there there's like four on there I might do another one maybe I don't always like to have um I'm, my dog's grumbling I'm wondering what he's talking about um I don't always like to have uh, even numbers so here's another card that I did still using that that plaid tidings and just put in that yellow uh, on the side there so two versions using the same card using the different DSP all right, I'm gonna do one more for you guys, and I think we're gonna have to do a little cleanie here because I have to change colors. So I love my Stampin' Chamois for this quick, quick cleaning, like a quick costume change. All right, so the next card, I am gonna use Mango Melody. And we'll fold that one in half. Somewhere my bone folder has walked away. Sorry, right, I'll use my hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now another piece of our designer series paper, that plaid tidings. We'll stick that onto our card front. And I have a piece of Whisper White here, and I am gonna use Early Espresso for the tree this time. Little bit darker, I would like. And I'm, whoops. I'm gonna offset it a little bit so um, it isn't quite, the whole thing is not on my paper. I just have it kind of shifted off to the left a little bit. And then I'm going to use Mary Merlot for my leaves. <clears throat> so this is definitely a fall card with that. I'm hoping you're inky. Yeah, you're looking pretty good there. So I'm just going to stamp it a couple times. There we go. And then I have some mango. No, that's bumblebee. <clears throat> My goodness, <clears throat> my allergies are kicking up. We are hauling manure and ch have been chopping corn last week and so everything is dusty. All right, so I've got some Mango Melody, which I totally just juiced up and boy, I mean juicy. So I'm gonna use my Thinking of You again. And let's see, I also pulled in some mint uh, macaron to do a little base so I don't want my tree just kind of hanging out there looking random we're gonna give it a little bit of a base there to stand on and I forgot my birdhouse alrighty so now let me show you what I'm gonna do with this guy we're gonna stamp that birdhouse in crumb cake, but I want my little birdies to be a different color, and so I'm just gonna clean them off with my finger. You could use a, a baby wipe or 
a, a little damp q-tip or something but sometimes they are so this these little birds are so tiny I'm just I just swipe it with my finger and then wipe it on the pants I just I'm gonna stamp to make sure it's coming out the way that I wanted it and yes that's perfect so let me do it again I'm gonna ink it up with crumb cake swipe those little birdies off and use my marker to color them with Mary Merlot. And let's stamp them hanging from the little tree here. There we go. So now I'm going to attach this to a little mat of Mary Merlot, which is really like it's an eighth of an inch. It's a very, very thin, thin mat of cardstock, but I just wanted a little bit of color behind this. And then I'm going to attach it with some dimensionals, which I'm starting to run out, but we're going to use what we got. That one took the whole the whole piece and one for good luck and there we go now I was thinking I, I would put some bling here because this is the card that I based this off of so I used our Gilded Autumn designer series paper and I just put a couple little blings down here in the bottom and that but I wanted to use the um, plaid tidings and so I changed to this one so that's that version so there you go friends isn't that stamp set wonderful so if you love it if you have it um, I am doing a class to go for the for October so my class to go is available now I will put the link in the comments on the YouTube video so you can check it out but what I am doing is uh, these four cards so I kind of tried to do a spring a summer fall and a winter version so you're going to get everything that you need to create these cards cut and ready to go and uh, the embossing will be done for you your die cutting will be done the only thing that you need to do is actually cut your paper which I'm going to give you a PDF uh, tutorial so that you know how to cut it because you might want to change your DSP out which is totally fine that's why I don't um, cut your DSP for you but you're going to get everything that you need to create two of every single card you're going to get a pack of the plaid type designer series paper so you're gonna get your very own pack of plaid tidings you're gonna get your roll of ribbon and you're going to get your pack of blings so that you are able to make eight of these cards plus the tutorial okay so that's available for the month of October now if you don't have the stamp set I do have an add-on button so all you need to do is just click add on and you can add the stamp set and so you'll be ready to go uh, whenever your package arrives so if you have any questions guys let me know otherwise have a wonderful week and come back and join me next week for movie Monday